Good morning, Beta Test Team. Uh, 21st of July 2017, triple moving average um, order trade system. Um, another code amendment for you um, by popular demand in brackets, Eric. <laughs> um, I've added in the additional functionality that you were looking for. So I've entered uh, or added two sample points based upon the second and the third moving average. You don't have to use the third moving average anymore. So if you just want to use two moving averages and use a MA2 delta sample point, you can. And that works in the same way we discussed before. Just use the check sign and put the check sign in wherever you want. And you'll see here the two uh, variables come back. Um, the MA2 delta at sample point 78, which is 78 candles in, is 0.4. 088 and MA3 delta at sample point 78 is 1.6499. So I've, I've mended the interface as well to uh, cater for these two delta thresholds. Um, and I use 0.5 in, in this case here on the sterling US dollar trade. And you can see here in the early hours of the morning, it picked up two really nice trades. Um, you can see if we've scaled out a bit, you can see this nice uptrend here first pullback got a nice nice entry there it's actually on the, on the next bar after the crossover signal because it's a printed crossover alert and we just exited at, uh, as as it came off this spike high you can see sterling US dollars testing the 1.3 uh, psychological level hence all this pullback but so it's going for it um, and this is a good this is a good example of, of trading pullbacks in quite a strong uptrend. So you can see this consolidation area here, but still we've got a second trade triggered just in here, which closed out there. We've got a five pip strain trading stop rolling, and we've got another entry just in here. Um, so we've got a pullback again, protected by a stop loss at 20 pips, and take profit again at 20, and it's going to go have another run at 1.2 1.3 as you see now so I think that is pretty much the final refinement of the system now um, so you can hopefully um, see that in play and pr and use that uh, for the next few days until the beta test expires and um, then um, we'll talk about um, some preferential uh, upgrade terms for the beta test guys who've been really involved uh, thank you very much for your involvement. It's, uh, it's really helped to um, really polish this and, and make it um, match fit. Uh, I will um, compile up uh, the Java programs and um, rebuild the installers and get this over to you um, in the next few minutes. Guys, I forgot about one thing. Um, I've also changed the way that the uh, arrows are rendered on the screen so if we go to zoom in a little bit um, guys what I'm doing here is I'm trying to I'm trying to playing around with these delta thresholds trying to um, tune the system to pick up really good entries in these kind of nice trends here and I think I've got this about right here I've changed the moving average to 520 and 100 gone to EMA so that the moving average is hug price more closely because it's using an exponential calculation and by a bit of playing around in trial and error I've managed to get some what look like really good entries in here so I've picked up these three dips on this uptrend not really nicely screened us out in this messy noise period gave us a little bit of a little bit of a hundred that's a hundred pips there on this little swing down here Saudi chart, yeah. Missed that one because the MA is flat. Look at that, absolutely spot on. Coming in here, your stop loss would have never really been tested. And coming all the way down again, 100 pip swings. Again, what have we got here? Entry in, you've got you've been filled on that bar there. <laughs> got an eight pip test against stop loss, and then ending up with over a, over a 90 to 100 pip swing into profit. 
look at that absolutely superb entry there yeah you know this is great missed that it's too flat understood cuts us out of the market and the noise missed these entries here because probably the MAs are a little bit too shallow still nothing on all this stuff let's keep going back flat MAs again uh, not so good there that would have been that would have been challenging it ended up going the right way but you, your stop would have been tested there so you'd been you'd have entered there 74 pips against you but ending up 56 in your favor so you'd have been stopped out on that one uh, shallow MAs again look at that nice straight in there uh, 80 odd pips to these to the bottoms of those but again you'd have probably trailed it and got stopped out there somewhere around 50 not very good there it's not going to that wouldn't have worked neither of that that would have done with minimal testing of the stop so you'd have entered there, you'd have stopped would have been just about 27 pips. But if you're trading on this time frame, you'd have been looking to put longer longer stops in. 144 pips to, to the upside there. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, but you did don't forget you get filled on the next bar. So you'd been filled there. 50, 31, 37 pips against on a stop loss. But if you could if you could have run that down. Yeah, until that sort of trend started going, 168, 70 pips, very nice. And so on and so on. Look at that beautiful entry there. Beautiful entry. 260 odd pips. Pretty sexy stuff. Um, the MA Delta thresholds have, have taken this into a totally different uh space and it, I think this is uh, quite sensational actually so I hope you guys agree um, anyway I'll leave you with it